everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, False Symmetry, and today I thought I'd come up here to record because look at this view! But what I did instead was find out that I uh, may have missed some carpet up here to stop spawning, although wait a second, this is a mushroom, oh no that is, oh no there is some motion over here. Okay then, I guess I'm going to have to go get some carpet because it's on every other block except for... Except for these white ones over here for some reason, I must have missed a bit of it. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do real quick is check this balloon here. There's even some light blue there that has uh, that has gone missing. And I'll check that one as well uh, while it's daytime. I'll replace them, make sure they're completely safe, and uh, then we'll get on with today's episode. Of which we are going to be working in a different biome. Yes, I specifically said biome because we're not going to be working in the nether necessarily, although I guess that counts as a different biome. Uh, we are instead going to be working with these three shulker boxes here, plus, the, 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 ignore these ones, these ones are just a mess, plus these ones down here, ooh, there's quite a lot there. Gonna fill up my inventory with uh, with shulker boxes. But yeah, we're gonna be using these, you know what, let me show you the, the resources. I'm sure the, the thumbnail's already a spoiler, it always happens, but we're gonna be using very, very grey blocks, let's say. Very, very grey blocks. So I'm going to pick these up, get out that carpet, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in a second, guys. I've got to, i got to repair my mistakes because apparently, apparently I just missed a few spots. Dang it! So I think what we're going to do is try and fly there because it is actually meant to be directly this way. My portal is behind me. I'm just going to fly straight now. First of all, we're going to hit this island here, which. Uh, was meant to be a sheep farm of mine. Ignore that. It's a bit of a mess there, but uh, it's handy if I ever need a sheep, I guess. Uh, there's, there might be some sheep left on there. I, I don't know if I killed them all or not. And then I think we actually do get to, yes, we get to zombie Cleos. And then behind zombie Cleos is where we want to go. Now, I wanted to build this in a desert, and I wanted it to, build, to build it in the closest desert. Now, obviously, I didn't want to interrupt or get too near uh, Cleos base, because, um, I mean, it's just awesome. I don't want to ruin it with my build, which I haven't built yet, which could go either way. But basically, there's a little bit of green area, and then there is actually another desert right behind, which is perfect. It's the right distance away from zombie Cleos, where I'm not going to be getting in her way. And also... Oh, is it not this one? Maybe it's a bit over here. Uh, how have I forgotten where I placed this thing? Uh, may, uh, may, maybe, maybe it's in the third desert. Yeah, yeah. Uh, totally in the, the third desert. Uh, please tell me there's a third desert. Please. Yes, there is in fact a third desert. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. I thought I'd lost it. Here it is. Yes, it's, it's another, it's another circle, guys. Yep. Yep. Oh, I forgot a bed! Did I bring wool? No, I didn't bring wool. Dang it! Oh, really? Really? False are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back through the nether, I guess, to go get a bed! Literally, literally, yeah, I'm gonna have to just, like, you know what, let's plop all this stuff down. You can see I've had issues with mobs here prior to, prior to this right here. So let's, let's just plop these ones down, because these ones right here are, like, the the ones full of stone, and then I guess I want to make sure these ones here like stay in the order that they're in. So let's place them, let's just place them in the center here. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then, yeah, and then we're gonna go to brown, yellow, and then cyan, and that should be good. They are very, very important, those things there. You might have, if you, if you, if you were paying attention, might have seen what those things said on them. Some, some very random words, let's just say. But anyway, bedtime, need to sleep, can't have mobs over here, it's very dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, though, um, yeah, this is, this is, this is, uh, fairly dangerous. <laughs> uh, I should probably get my, uh, my rockets ready and my fish and, uh, just hope and pray that I don't fall into the lava. That will not be fun. There's also a ghast, so let's hurry up. <laughs> Well, I thought while I was nearby, while we went past it, I would check out what Zombie Clear has started building. Look at this thing. I'm really worried that I'm going to fall through the floor at any minute, though. Uh, it's kind of terrifying. I, I tried to make sure that gas wasn't looking at me when I flew over here. Uh, but look at this place. It's awesome. Yeah, I wanted to see what this guy was for. Look at him. He's just trolling me. He's trying to, trying to spook me. 
Yeah, you can't spook me. My graveyard episode last was that last episode? Probably last episode. Yeah, you can't you can't be my my enderman in in my in my jump scare thing. Exactly. Yeah, take take that. Anyway, I guess uh, I guess I'll now follow uh, Zombie Cleo's tunnel unless there's a way out where I can fly. There is. Okay, as long as there are no ghasts around, we should be okay. Do not shoot at me, please, ghast. No, I don't want to damage uh, 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 Cleo's thing. And I can't fly, apparently. Great. I'm such a noob at Minecraft when I have uh, a trip away. <laughs> I come back. Such a noob. Right, we are back. It is daytime. I've brought a bed over and I am ready to roll. So I should probably explain what this thing is if my title hasn't done so already. Uh, this is actually meant to be my patron monument for this season. Because if you don't, guys don't remember, in season three onwards, season three and four, I believe, I had some sort of Patreon monument, and the reason I say Patreon monument or Patreon monument, Patreon is the term for people that pledge, but Patreon is the website. So for those who don't know, I have a Patreon account, which basically is a little bit like Kickstarter, but something a little bit more sort of um, solid. I've just thought this might need to be dug down because it all needs to be level and that this this most definitely isn't level but what I am doing right now is is replacing all of this sort of horrible netherrack with these blocks we're gonna try and keep them all on this level I think yeah it'll be easier yeah it's a pretty flat area that's why I sort of chose this so basically what I've done previously uh, is in, I think, season three, I had a, a sea monument that had lots of um, uh, banners in it, custom banners, which were for my patrons. I got uh, I got them to pick a banner design and then I would put that. Oh, there's going to be quite a lot over here, isn't there? Oh, no, I've, got, I've gone upwards. I'm an umpty. Ignore me. It's because I'm talking and trying to build at the same time. This is, this is why I don't do this usually. But basically uh, in that... Uh, season, I guess, uh, I built um, people banner designs that they, they decided upon. Uh, the Last season I did the thing that was underneath my jellyfish base with the heads in it uh, on armor stands. And then this year and this um, season, I want to do the same again because I've really, really just loved doing it. I love the fact that if you guys support me, I can build you on the Hermitcraft server. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna do the head thing again, uh, which is why I've got those shock boxes there. So everybody that has pledged to me this year, because it's pretty much been a year since Hermitcraft uh, Season 5 has been around, right? So basically everybody that has pledged to me on that level upwards on, on the, on the uh, website uh, will have their heads permanently in this thing I'm building here, which... By the way, I should probably mention it's sort of meant to be a little bit of a Colosseum sort of vibe. Don't know how well that's going to come across, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It should be a fun thing to build. Anyway, let me finish uh, swapping all of these blocks, li literally all of these netherrack blocks for this block here. And trust me, it's going to look better than it does right now because it looks a little bit naff. Right, we have quite the view of this place from up here and it's actually big. It's huge, actually. It is... Bigger than I expected it to be, let's let's be honest. And I do actually have uh, someone to thank uh, for help with this design. I knew I wanted to make something like this, but that was because I did a Patreon tour a few weeks ago on a live stream, and someone on my Patreon server named Melly uh, built these really, really awesome, almost like Coliseum-style builds, and I was like, that is perfect for a Patreon monument, because what you can do is build something cool in here that isn't too crazy, you know. I wanted something that was simple to build, repetitive, and something I could easily fill up with with, with people's uh, heads and stuff. So this area around here will be exactly for the heads. All the skulls will be placed upon the walls and stuff like that, and it will go up uh, various floors. Uh, I think the floors will be, you know, there'll be ladders either side. Here, I've decided upon maybe adding a single archway instead of the two. That was the original plan. Um, maybe there as well, maybe not, maybe just one entrance because of the nether portal. I've always wanted the nether portal to be outside. Well, no, actually, that's a lie, I actually wanted the nether portal at the beginning to be in the middle, but it's not going to really work super well, but, uh, yeah, anyway, let me get on with this. Uh, I think, you know what, we might even, shall we start it from here? Yeah, why not? Guys, let's go ahead, leave a like if you enjoy these, and let's roll that time lapse.
Well, this is definitely looking pretty awesome. I've just finished off this and then I noticed, uh... Yeah, I have a, have, a, have a few friends, let's just say. Just just quite a few. There's like five zombies down there. No, three? Did I lose some? No, there's another one there. Four. Maybe the other one was a skeleton. Uh, not a skeleton, a spider. He's been following me around as well. He followed me around like from there to there. <laughs> you probably saw them on the time lapse stepping around. But anyway, uh, you can see that I've pretty much done... I was going to say the majority. I've, I've literally technically still got the outer wall to do. The outer wall has not been touched in the slightest. The inner wall isn't even complete yet. But what I'm going to do is I've decided that there's no way at all that I'm going to be able to get all of this done. I'm going to get shot. Why? Why? Why is there lag? No. Oh! I don't know how that worked, but it did. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. Ooh, that was... That was crazy. Look at this. Oh, man. It looks pretty suave, I'm going to be honest. Oh, it'd be really cool to fly through it as well. Because these this wall in inside is going to be very similar to the outside wall. Oh, it's going to look super cool. We'll be able to, like, just, just, just literally fly in between. Oh, I wonder if we will be, we'll be able to do the thing where we just fly in between. Like so, just all the way down, just like, I don't even know. I, I also need to double check what height this was going to be. I think it's going to be three high. I'm not absolutely sold on these bits here. This is something I've been struggling with, making these look like archways. Um, the build that Melia helped me, me work on um, has it a little bit different than that, but I don't really like the way that that looks either. So it's not ideal. It's not ideal, but I think what I'm going to do is leave this open. I actually do plan on, if if I have too much room, making part of it, at least the top part, or even maybe a little bit of the second level, a little bit ruined. Uh, have some of it falling into the centre area, um, and stuff like that. That could be kind of cool. But uh, I'm not really 100% sold. I do really, really like this entrance, so I'm really glad that I sort of saved the area for, for the entrance, because... Yeah, it looked really, really cool. It actually sort of looks like uh, the Colosseum in, in Rome. Is it Rome? Greece? Somewhere? Somewhere in the in, in the world. Uh, yeah, I like it. So, I think what's next is... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to try and do as much of this wall as possible. I won't bother doing it on time-lapse, but we'll try and do at least a quarter of this area. Maybe at least the front and then, you know, a little bit of each side. Just so we can get, like, a nice view from this end, from where the portal is to see what it's going to look like. Uh, and then I'll have to finish off the rest in like a, a, a live stream or something, because like, just look at it. Talk about bite off more than I can chew at the moment. Uh, if I was at home and not pre-recording and it, all that kind of jazz, then 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 it'd be fine. Uh, I also do have a problem with this being spawnable, because the original design had the floors here, but I really like the floors here. So we're gonna have to either add lighting, which I think would look cool actually, if we can make it as subtle as possible, or we'll go with half slab, slab floors, but even so, this area in here will be spawnable anyway, so it's, it's, it, let's just say it's a difficult one, I'm gonna think about it while I'm doing the outside walls, so well, let's get on with it and I'll bring you guys in when it's looking a lot better than it is right now, because it's, it's, it's very unfinished, very unfinished. <laughs> So originally my plan was to replicate this exact design in the center uh, wall on the outer wall, but it doesn't seem that is working too well, so I've sort of had to change it up a little bit. I'm using my camera account right now, which is why I'm not doing the time lapse, to see what this looks like from the outside, because it's so much easier to see what's going on down here on the walls that I've done than to, yeah, than to have um, a time-lapse going at weird angles and stuff like that. That's that's the one reason you don't see an awful lot of time-lapses from, from me sometimes, because uh, sometimes I like to use my camera account to, you know, either reference something I'm building or, or something like that. Anyway, uh, the sun is going down, so we're going to have to literally wrap up here in just a second. But uh, I guess I'll show you guys from over here before the sun completely goes down. Let's actually walk towards it through the nether portal. It looks... So it doesn't look as cool as I thought. I mean, it does look still pretty cool. I think it's going to look really good. Maybe. I could even add more detail to it as I go along. 
I think when when this back wall's done, like walking towards it from here, it's gonna be pretty epic being inside it. I might even make it taller than it's meant to be and spread the heads out even more. But uh, I think the heads are gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do. But I do sort of have a plan as to how I'm gonna put them in here. So in these little corners and stuff, I'm gonna have it so that, uh, I don't really have any heads right on, on me right now, but basically there's gonna be a head on there, head on there, uh, maybe there'll be different locks. And then that'll sort of be, carry on around in like a sort of uh it's gonna be a very very mirrored sort of repetitive de repetitive design but that's what's gonna work best i think anyway like i said i need to go sleep uh i'll work on the wall outside wall a little bit more I'll, I'll i'll try and actually add some more flooring because i think that, that adds a lot of uh difference to it because now you can actually see lighter floor lighter a lighter gray floor coming through rather than just the the dark grey. I might even add some lighting too. So we'll see what that looks like uh, at the next night time. And then that will be all the time I have for this episode because I'm running out of time. As always. <laughs> Well, I was going to continue for another five minutes or so, but I actually ran out of blocks completely uh, in terms of stone, which uh, is obviously needed for pretty much every block in here except for the andesite. I've only just got a little bit uh, left on me here, and I really wanted to finish off the floors a little bit more. But hey, alas, I have no more time. But uh, yeah, this thing isn't looking the absolute best. I do want to have a, look, a quick look at it at night time. I want to add lighting to each of the floors, or at least the floors I have added. Uh, the bottom floor obviously has has light. Um, the top floor, however, or the mid the the middle floor and the and the other floor below, uh, none of those to have light. So let's add a few torches. So I think the sun's about to go down. I think it I think it sets that side. Does it set that side, mate? Oh, don't want to head down. I was whoa. Uh, I just heard a witch. Um, not sure where she is. She's hiding somewhere. But yeah, I really want to see what this looks like with, with like a, gl a glow coming from the the little doorways sort of thing. Or like the, uh, what would you call these? Archways, I guess. Probably not doorways. <laughs> They're not, they don't really work super well as a door um, <laughs> as you fall to your death. Anyway, yeah, let's wait for night time and then we'll wrap up for today. But yeah, I'm really hoping this is going to glow and look really cool. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Well, it's pretty much night time now. The sun has gone down and yes okay it, it does look better at night the whole the whole fact that it glows just oh man it yeah and we got pretty much a quarter done nearly a quarter i think it works out a quarter if you if you count all the other blocks i've got around the other side uh, that i've got with making the circle and stuff we've even sort of started adding the flooring in the only thing i can't touch just yet is the heads i can't put them in here just yet because it's just not going to work very well, is it, if I start pl popping some in and then I lose count and lose where I'm at and, and just, yeah, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. I want it to look as good as possible. But actually, while it's nighttime, I think I'm going to actually light up this area a little bit better as I can see all the little dark spots. The creeper just spawned over here, which is not ideal. Please do not blow anything up, especially the most important stuff, which is the blocks. No, don't. Be careful. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I've got to make this as safe as possible before... We actually start using this thing. Dude, there's so many torches in here. I need, I need more torches than I even realise. I do want to find that witch as well. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's in a cave below here. No, why? Why is there a baby zombie? No, I know this is a bit of a, an, an arena sort of coliseum style thing, dude. But we're not having a fight. Oh, dude, that XP actually scared me. It like creeped up on me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm really jumpy apparently. I need to have a nap. And uh, I think I'll hop off the server for a bit because I've been on here for way too long today working on just this project. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe even next episode we might complete this. I haven't decided yet. I kind of want to complete it in an episode rather than a live stream for once because you guys get up fed up when you can't make a live stream. I, I know I get comments like, Foz, why do you never finish anything on, on video and you always do it in live stream because I miss the live streams. Well... It's because it's easier usually, but uh, but hey, we will actually do the opposite. We'll finish this off next episode. It's a two-parter. Yes, I haven't done one of those in a while. And guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of this. Anything you think I should add uh, specifically in this build when it's complete, let me know down below. And when I randomly, after my trip, see the comments, I will definitely try and add some things from you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.